thing keeping you from the life that you really want to live is your negative beliefs. Beliefs are powerful. Thoughts are powerful. Your thoughts, your beliefs about who you are and what you're capable of and your expectations for your life, these things are literally shaping your reality and what you experience. And so in today's video, I'm going to be identifying some of the main very common negative beliefs that can hold us back from really living our best lives. Sometimes when we talk about positive thinking, and if you've ever heard the concept that your thoughts become your reality, maybe it sounds a little bit wishy-washy to you, but it's real. And I'm going to show you a very practical, everyday example of how your thoughts and your beliefs actually do alter the outcome of your reality and what you're going to experience in your life. So, for example, let's say Mary wants to uh, bake a cake and she has the idea to bake a cake for her best friend. Now, as soon as she has this idea, a negative thought comes into her mind of a memory from the past when she tried to bake a cake for a group of her friends or her co-workers and they ate the cake and everyone thought it tasted awful. And they were poking fun of her and making, you know, little jokes about how bad the cake was. And, you know, she kind of laughed it off, but deep down it really hurt because she put a lot of effort into baking this cake. And someone said, don't quit your day job and become a baker. You're not good at baking. Like, this is probably the worst cake I've ever had. And so those comments really did stay in the back of her mind. So now, after thinking this all through and all of these negative thoughts coming to her mind and Mary actually believing, maybe I'm terrible at baking a cake, now she decides to scrap the idea and doesn't bake the cake after all. So that thought actually impacted whether or not that cake got created. So that cake doesn't exist now. It would have existed had she had the positive memory or the positive belief of this cake's gonna turn out great because I'm such a great baker and everyone's going to love it, it's gonna taste delicious, I'm gonna really enjoy making it and it's gonna turn out great. So just that thought pattern, those thoughts that could have just taken five seconds in Mary's mind impacted the future, they impacted her reality. Even though it's just a small example, just a cake, it doesn't seem significant, but these things happen all the time. What if it had been a job interview? What if there was a great opportunity that Mary had to you know, take this amazing, incredible job opportunity, but that same thought pattern happened and she had the belief of, I'm too old, I'm inexperienced, I'm too young, I don't have what it takes, I'm not confident enough, I won't do well at the interview. So all of these thoughts and these beliefs are impacting the future of what Mary is going to experience. And so this happens to many of us all day long, we might not even be aware of it, but our beliefs about who we are, what we're capable of, are literally shaping our experience. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go through some of the negative beliefs that can potentially stop us from living our best lives. Negative belief number one is I'm too old. This is something that I hear all the time from people of all different ages is, I'm too old or I feel like I'm too old to start a YouTube channel. I'm too old to start a business. I'm too old to go back to school. Whatever it may be, I want you to listen to me if you've been thinking this. Look at me in my eyes and really get this message. You are not too old. You are not. If you want to do something and it's in your heart to do it, go and do it. This is your life. Too old compared to who? Compared to what? Like, it's just such an idea that is um, fear-based and it's stopping you from doing what you really want to do, creating what you want in this life, whether it's a business, whether it's an experience you want to have, maybe you want to go backpacking and travel the world, you're not too old. Go do it. Go enjoy your life and go make the best out of your life because it is your life. Do not let age stop you. The thing about age is it's very comparison based. We look at other people and take social cues from them. You know, this person graduated at this age, this person started their career at this age, it took this person this long to get to that level of success, do I wanna wait that long until I have the success? Um, what will people think of me um, for starting this new thing at my age? So let this all drop away. 
really, really like this, this age thing stops so many people from doing what they really want to do. And something that can help uh, with this is to look at people who are, um, you know, 70 years old and starting a business. I look at Christy Brinkley and I know she started her modeling career when she was, you know, 20 or something. She's in her 60s. She is creating makeup lines and skincare lines and um, thriving in business and just like such an inspiration. I follow her on Instagram and she inspires me. I think uh, women and you know everyone needs examples to see hey people are out there people are living their lives people are making things happen there's no rules about what you can do at what age and I feel that the feeling of being judged by other people is something that I could make a whole hundred video series on <laughs> but it's very fear-based and I get it the fear feels real it feels like I'm gonna you know put myself out there to get embarrassed or I'm gonna make a fool of myself or people are going to think bad things about me and no one wants that but at the end of the day this is your life and I want you to really enjoy it to really get the most out of it and to believe in yourself so please 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 if you feel like you're too young for something or too old for something or not at the right um, time of life if something's in your heart go for it and find a mentor in your mind. Find someone who has done a similar thing uh, and maybe they are, you know, like 70 years old and they're just starting it and they're being successful at it. And just use them as an inspiration to see what's possible and let that inspire you. Another negative belief, and this one can often be linked to the past, is the feeling of I'm not deserving of this. So you want a great relationship and you look at your past and you think, hey, I've made so many mistakes in the other relationships. I don't deserve another chance. I don't deserve happiness in this. All I can say to you is that is not true. You deserve happiness. You deserve success. You deserve to enjoy your life. The past is the past. All you can do about it now is to forgive yourself. There's no use staying in this mental torment of, you know, I did this, I feel bad about it, I, you know, maybe I wasted all these years, I wasted opportunities, I made mistakes. You know, you could keep going over and over all of that stuff from the past and let it keep you feeling stuck and frustrated. Or you can forgive yourself once and for all, really come to a place of understanding that this is your life to live and to enjoy and to make the most out of and that you are 100% deserving of all of the good things that your heart could possibly desire, then go for it. I've made many videos on positive affirmations, on learning to love yourself, and so to overcome this negative belief of feeling unworthy and like you're not deserving of good things, I recommend watching some of those videos, reading books by Louise Hay, by Sherry Huber, by uh, Barbara Sher. Um, I will put some links for you in the description box down below, but I just want you to know that you're very loved, you're very deserving of happiness, and you are more than worthy, so don't let any of those negative beliefs stop you. Some of the other negative beliefs that could subconsciously be stopping you from taking action in your life are a belief of attractiveness, feeling that you're less attractive physically than other people, feeling that you don't have the looks to uh, to do something that you want to do. Maybe it prevents you from job interviews. Feeling like I don't look the part or I don't look a certain way to do what I really want to do. A huge part of attractiveness is belief in your attractiveness, is feeling confident, is loving yourself. Because when you truly do, you exude that. And people are attracted to that type of attractiveness. And so that also ties in with self-love. Another limiting belief is feeling like I don't have the money, I don't have the time. Now these are things that yes, they can be uh, challenges, but they don't need to completely stop you from even trying. See that's what happens. We feel that, oh because I don't have the money for that, I'm not even going to look into that goal. I'm not even going to set that goal for myself. I'm not even going to attempt that. Instead of actually believing that, hey, 
this might be my, my current circumstance, but I really want that and I know that I can figure out a way to get the money for what I want to experience or to make the time for what's really important to me. See, the thing about negative beliefs is they stop you from trying. They stop you from moving forward in your life and from really uh, dreaming big. The negative beliefs, the, the, what they do is they kind of keep you in this comfort zone, this so-called comfort zone that is this protective shell of this is all I'm capable of, this is all I'm worthy of, I'm just going to stay here and years and years go by and no progress is made. And that doesn't feel good. Deep down, we are meant to continuously be learning and growing and trying and experimenting and experiencing new things. And so really, to, in order to break past all of these limiting beliefs, you have to be willing to take an honest look at your life, an honest look at the thoughts that you're thinking. I really, really recommend doing some journaling, doing self-love work, listening to positive, uplifting, motivating um, videos or audiobooks or reading positive books, surrounding yourself with people who are going to be uplifting and encouraging and motivating and examples of all of the things that you want to become because that inspires you. Even if you're not consciously trying to emulate those positive qualities, having people around you who are also on this positive path affects you in such a good way. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you know how capable you are and that negative beliefs are thought. I hope you know how wonderful and capable you are and that negative beliefs are started by thoughts. And so by thinking positive thoughts, you are starting to create positive beliefs in your life. It might feel like work, it might take some effort and some time, but it's worth it. All right, have a beautiful day. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on positivity, self-love, motivation, health, and happiness. And I will see you next time. Bye.